All right, it is Friday afternoon. Um, I was just informed by one of my girls, it's almost four o'clock, like they're gonna leave at five or something. Um, <laughs> I left. <laughs> um, because <laughs> it's Friday and everyone waits for the very last minute. Although, I will say, this client has waited for a long time to see me. Thank you very much, by the way. I was in an orthopedic procedure and rebuilding some dog's leg that some other vet screwed up for the last several months. So anyway, this dog should walk again. It'll be good news. But we're talking about a lizard because that's what you're looking at. All right. Um, here we have a small gecko. Uh, notice how our tail has popped up. Uh, what was funny was I thought we were going to be looking at one of our classic parasite case. But while I was making my judgments, mom goes, but she laid eggs a few days ago. Um, <laughs> so at that point in time, I even changed my whole uh, my whole line of uh, thinking all together. Anyway, it turns out that she had laid eggs a few days ago, but uh, in the process, she's actually tried to, to uh, compensate for her calcium intake by eating some calcium sand. And the stool sample I got was mostly sand. Um, I can tell you that the, she has a purplish green kind of sand in her tank from just the fecal alone. Uh, she also has a stomatitis. I was able to uh, get a sample of her mouth. And on this side here, you can actually see where her her lips are a little thickened, okay? Uh, they were uh, kind of a greenish color when she first came in where the, the sand was stuck on there, but I cleaned that off. Anyway, what's weird is, I've probably seen one of the largest fungi I've ever seen under the microscope. I got a few pictures of one of the uh, spores in my celial stalks, and I'll add that to this video as well. Anyway, so at this point in time, my diagnosis is going to be a fungal stomatitis from eating sand or whatever, uh, not to mention the fact that when she, they, you are or they are pregnant, they uh, tend to lower their immune response. Uh, having small little parasites inside of you, regardless of species, does tend to make you have to lower your immune response to a lot of strange things. And while she was also having to make the sand of the eggs, she actually ate some sand as an extra calcium source, and that's causing her colitis, which you're watching her still struggling back there. I'm partially responsible for that. The Q-tip I used to get my sample kind of irritated her a little bit. But the good news is she popped out a sand chunk. So it's not, uh, it's not beyond her passing at this point in time. So, now I've talked for a whole two minutes and almost 30 seconds. This girl has a fungal stomatitis, possible mild sand impaction in the intestine. She's still getting over the fact that she's actually laid some eggs. Uh, so she may be a little bit low on calcium as far as that goes, but mom's gonna fix that by putting in a UVB source. We're gonna do more with her food when she starts to eat to get her some calcium in. And I'm hoping that turns her around. All right, girl. Stay pretty, get healthy, and let's see you back in about two weeks. Okay. Alright, very cool. Later.